The search for descendants of Australia's mysterious overseas colony is narrowing, with ABC coverage triggering a stream of tip-offs from related families. When Don Winnembar Ganembara first saw these photographs of Yongu people living in Makassar, he wasn't surprised. They're from East Arnhem region. They were taken in the port city in what's now Indonesia in 1873, and they corroborate oral and written accounts of Indigenous people moving from Australia to Southeast Asia prior to British settlement. It's prompted elders like Don Winnembar to come forward with knowledge of relatives who emigrated. Because my grandmother was still alive when I was sort of growing up. One day she told me um, one of my younger sister was taken away. All they saw was a, is her last footprints on the sand. Then from there she went missing. Years later, they discovered his relative had left with visiting Indonesian fishermen and was living in Makassar, where she'd married and had children. In the 1970s, Don visited Sulawesi and met his relatives. So I, that's how they, we were real connected with them because they knew that they had a missing family and also we had a missing family. She was buried in Sulawesi. Uh, I was there but they never showed me the grave, so I'm going to try and go back again. An academic researching the interactions between Aboriginal people and overseas visitors says the photos are crucial evidence. It was just such a riveting moment to see actual people that were involved in the Tripang industry but who had left Australia and travelled to Makassar. Just a, it's an amazing voyage and there's this perception that Aboriginal people were isolated and, and yet here they were, international travellers. Professor Russell is leading a five-year project that will be documenting the family links. I think there's every chance that there are descendants of the Indigenous communities who are perhaps staying in, who stayed in Makassar, are particularly the potential for Makassan men to have taken Aboriginal wives and who may well have travelled back with them. So this is where they picked her up from. After the hunting, there's no footsteps after that. There were some okay. footsteps, people coming in, grabbing her, then... Wow. Don Winnembar Ganembara is planning to travel to Makassar later this year to reconnect with the Indonesian side of his family. There must have been a lot of people that got taken from Arnhem Land. Our family connection would be strong, really strong, you know. Meanwhile, another Yongu family has come forward saying they believe they've identified one of the young men in the 19th century photographs. They're now working with anthropologists and researchers to try to confirm the connection.